I think I've got an absolute stunner of a power keto breakfast for you today. Superb fat content, the protein content. This is going to keep you seriously filled up. If you're just adapting to keto currently, this is going to take you right through the whole morning till lunchtime without thinking about snacks. And if you're fully fat adapted, this could be your one meal of the day or a weekend treat, an early breakfast and nothing until the evening. If you've got the extra time, it's usually a 10 minute cook, then I want you to try the best bacon you've ever had in your life. I'm going to show you a, a slightly unusual way to cook bacon that you might not have seen before, which just gives gorgeous crispy bacon every single time. It's egg based, cooked in grass fed butter. It has uh, a sausage in there with a hint of spice to it. It also gives it a gorgeous colour. Chorizo that we're going to be using today actually refers to two different foodstuffs. One is a uncooked Mexican sausage and the other that we're going to be using is a Spanish pork based dry cured sausage seasoned with paprika. The one we're using today is also seasoned with additional garlic. It's edible in its raw natural state. And it's good. Let's put the oven on to 200 degrees C. and let warm up. In order to get the real crispy bacon I'm after today I've put a cooling rack on top of a baking tray and put the bacon on top of that. That keeps it out of its own fat and um, ensures it gets nice and crispy and it also gives us some beautiful bacon fat to save afterwards for uh, further frying duties. Never throw it away. The bacon can then go straight in the hot oven Set a timer for 20 minutes. That's the first time we're going to check on the bacon because it's up on the cooling rack in a fan oven. It heats nicely from both sides so there's no need to turn over. Slice the chorizo fairly thinly and then we're also going to dice it up to make wonderful little packets of taste mixed through our eggs. Whilst the pre-grated cheeses are convenient, they have the addition of an anti-caking agent in there which tends to be carbohydrate based. So just by adding this step in, we can keep the carbs lower. Let's sweat down the chorizo. Because we're going to be cooking at relatively modest temperatures, butter is the ideal fat to use. Then add the chorizo and under a modest heat, sweat it down. The butter should take on a slight pinkish hue as the paprika leaches out with the fat. That's all that needs, just two or three minutes. Take the chorizo out of the pan and set aside. Now depending on how the timing of your bacon is going, either force cool the pan or allow the pan to cool. The scrambled eggs cook much better from cold. While the bacon's cooking, three eggs into the cold pan. Add some more butter to the pan. Okay, heat on. Don't whisk it together first, do it all in the pan. in with the chorizo grab 
grated cheese in. Okay, let's plate up. That's lovely. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. I really hope you try it. And if you do, comment down below. Let me know what you think. While you're here, if you got some value out of this, please hit the subscribe and the like. That would be appreciated. And I'll see you on the next one.